Good morning, everybody. Um, this is a rather quick and dirty video clip, for which I hadn't prepared very much, uh, because uh, I'm in a bit of a roll with making clips at the moment, and Elliot asked for the black-haired lass or the dark-haired lass. So let's try it. Uh, Elliot's interested in, in the basses, and he's also interested in the version played by Arcady, which I don't have. But I think I've heard Jackie Daly play this tune, if he was indeed the accordionist on the particular recording. Or it might have been Conor Keane, I suppose. Anyway, uh, people tend to play this tune pretty much the same way because it's pretty simple. So before we get to the basses, let's just look at the melody. It's an A. Start on the C-sharp pull here. basis for this tune, we immediately run into the problem that we often get when playing in A, which is that our A chords and basses are on two different sets of buttons. They're here on the pull where they're paired with D, and they're here on the push where they're paired with E. So A pull, A pull. So that's the first thing to be aware of. So we'll start the tune on a big pull chord of A. Downbeat, A. Now the offbeat, if we wanted to play it, if we wanted to play umpa, we'd have to swap to the top layer of buttons. Um, or we could miss out the... to start with the offbeat. But let's start with a strong downbeat and we'll miss out the first offbeat. And that works quite well because the second offbeat falls on this E here, which is on the pull. So if we give it a little pause, and then we change to a D chord, so we get a very nice effect of going uh, from the chord change like that, yam pam. The next chord is G. Actually, we could go to G earlier. Um, the melody would suggest a uh, a G chord because it goes from D to G to D. So that would give us, if you have a happen to have a unison or a G bass with the G on the push, you could do that. But actually, I think although melodically you might expect a G chord, harmonically a D works better, especially as we change the chord afterwards. So to, to G immediately afterwards. So that would give us. Sorry. Back to A again. And then we finish on a push A. So that's the whole first part, actually. I stop doing that. without preparation. Um, so I don't think I would bother trying to do offbeat basses very much in that part of the tune, or umpas or anything like that. Just go with these strong chord changes. We also get strong chord changes in the second part, which goes like this. A, G, back to D, back to G. Off we go again, A. 
we could go D-A-D, D-A-A, just. Now the second time through, it starts off the same. Changes a bit here. This whole rundown here, after the... This is classic melodian style, if you like, because um, all the push, all the uh, push notes harmonize nicely with the chord of D, and all the pulls. So you could go umpa, or block chords. Either of those might be a bit too heavy, or you could just play the on beats. Or you could just play the off beats, I guess. Or mix them up. So that's up to you. I think playing might be nice for effect uh, once or twice, but if you play it every time, it soon get pretty tedious. In fact, it was, you could use it as an almost comic, comic effect. Um, so that's about all I have to say about the tune. We'll just go through the basses one more time. This time, almost. The dark head lass. I hope that is of some use to you, Elliot, and anybody else. Thank you and à la prochaine.